Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Safe Tech Ages, episode 9. How are you today guys? I hope you had a good weekend. I had an amazing weekend with my family and my wife. And yeah, it's just been a chill weekend. How about yours? Was it good? Tell me, tell me in the comments. So, 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 so guys. I didn't have much time to play, but uh, except a few hours uh, in the morning while my wife was sleeping. So what I did was just replace everything with chests. We got some food stocked up, got some stones melting, got some clay melting into bricks. Changed all these shelves into chests. This, I just smelted up everything, that's all we have. And yeah guys, we're going to start, also I changed those back to like uh, this way. Because I find it more easy to use, like you just run from left to right and you just go click on everything. And yeah. So... When I remember, I just click on them and I have hemp grinding into or miling into hemp fibers, which will be used later on. So, today is going to be a chill episode, I believe, but we'll see, maybe not. Also, sorry guys. Also, I got some worms finally, and I got this going, but <laughs> yeah, uh, nothing really special to be honest. So how did I get worms, you may ask? Um, so you can make this tool called Garden Trowel, and it's just a stick, a flint, and a dirt. And if you, where is it? I have one. I think I don't, I think it broke. Or no, maybe it's in my tools. In my backpack. So if you just go right click with it, it uh, builds a path, digs a path. If you left click with it and dig some dirt, you get a chance of getting a worm. There you go. That's a worm. So yeah, that's an easy way to get some bait for your fisherman's trainer. Then I wanted to show you two more tools that unlock, I believe in age one. One of them is, I consider it very useful. The other one is okay. So let's begin with the, the latter, three scythe. First one is a brush scythe, the three scythe Easy to build. It's uh, two sticks, two string, and an axe. And what it does, if you left click on leaves, sorry, right click, ooh, that's laggy. It just chops down a bunch of leaves. Um, I'm not sure if you want to use it anywhere. That's why I'm not sure if it's that useful. But the other thing, guys, Look at this. Look at my area, how clear it is. So if you're if you're done with those things, the grass, and you you don't want to see them anymore, you build this thing, the brush scythe. Guys, it's so easy to build and it's so well for me it was useful because I didn't want so much grass around. So it's two sticks, two string, and a hoe. Like this. And you, it gives you a brush scythe. Top areas of weeds and flowers. So you take that thing, right click, boom. Gone, all that stuff. Look at this stuff. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Look at this. Ooh, how clear it is. I love it. I love it, guys. So yeah, that's some useful tools. Let's put them back. I don't really need them and let's get a 
three those these things that guys so you're in the chest we got some wood going all the wood materials shelf i will get rid of you here are like the mob drops and uh, some miscellaneous stuff here is the stone blocks and here is the miscellaneous blocks all, all, all other kinds of blocks here i just have a, a chest with miscellaneous Ooh, sorry and this one i'll show you in a bit also i replaced all the horses with buffaloes they're doing some work this is chopping wood this guy's oops chopping wood as well this guy too this guy is chilling these guys are grinding rice sorry where's the rice anyways rice into rice flour and uh, sugar cane in, into sugar which uh, we rice flour we, we might need uh sugar definitely we will need and all the, all the horses are here so yeah guys that's basically what i've done in uh, like i played this morning like an hour or so and uh, yeah let's start from some chill achievements let's do all of these except the follow my channel actually we do it channel. and we do it person Yes, we could do this as well. Do we have any sir? I don't think we do. Five. We have it. Okay. So that's... Well... Because we started with this, let's just do it. Boom. We got it. So what this does is you can actually... Place this here. How much thing do I have? Place this here. And... Uh, no. You place it under the faucet the faucet drops the liquid into the channel and then you can have like channels go going into barrels or some wood basins which i will show where's the third one here it is which i will show you right right away this is this thing and this thing the the wooden basin will help you with your lever production as well as some uh, some other stuff and uh, so go like this this no you go like this nah that's not it i forgot wooden goes like this and what this does is like this we're going to move them you fill it up with water. Fill it up with water. Get some water. Oh, it now though. Up with water. And basically, for example, let's get some, uh, let's see some salted hide, right? We did this one by one. But in the basin, you put three hides and one salt. And you get three of them after spinning it for three times. You know what, guys? Let's let's just do it on cam. Let's get some hides. What do I have? One, two, three hides. One salt. Where do I have my salt? Here's the salt. So you go. You just find the items you need. Right click on the basin. Put it inside with the right click. And then with an empty hand, right click it. And it spins around. It takes about uh, three spins, I believe. And boom! You get three of them. And much faster than doing it one by one. And uh, yeah, you can just go like boom, 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 boom. Five in a row or more or ten in a row. And uh, definitely faster than doing it one by one. But uh, in one of the next episodes, I'm going to show you a very cool way to using the hold on a sec, the channels, placing the channels into the things, 
So yeah, we're going to drop some water, automate the water production, and we're going to have some nice uh, wood wooden basins without having to run next to the water, fill it with water. But yeah, guys, that's going to be in the next episode. Sorry, not the next episode, but one in one of the next episodes. So then we're going to make the plumb line. Very easy to craft. You need two bolts of strings, which uh, you need two spindles, three sticks in a row like this. And you just surround the spindle with string and you get the bolt of string. And the plumbing line goes like this. Oh, and you also get the spindles back. But the plumbing line allows you, if you right click it, it shows you your height. So Y71 and our height, not our height, but the height we're standing on. And uh, yeah, it's useful for the oars. Then, then, let's make a bed. Let's make a bed. Bed. Easy. Three hay bale and some leaves. Hay bales is nine wheat. Just fill the whole thing. And oak leaves you get with shears. So we have a bed. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, if I place it, it will break. Uh, if I move it, I mean. And we we are still a caveman with a tipi to sleep in. So I'm just going to put it inside the chest. We don't really need it. Then, we also have the aquadocs. The aquadocs um, transfer a water source block. Like, if I place it here, this is a water source block. And I place it under here. And then uh, the next one here. Actually, what am I talking about, guys? Let me show you really. Oh, oops, I forgot to make the aqueducts. Make them quick. So I used stone, stone and clay. Three aqueducts. Ooh, that gives us nine. Nice. I didn't actually remember that. So aqueduct. Aqueduct. There's a few types of blocks you can use. Bricks. I think this is marble, yes. Marble again. Sandstone, red sandstone, stone, polished granite, polished diorite, prismarine, dark prism. But yeah, I went with the stone because we have the most of it. So what you can do is you can transfer wa the water uh, source block. So if you go like this, like this, see, it transfers down the line, which is amazing, guys. If you find the use for it, this will. Hold on, son. Why did it not work? Maybe that's not a. First block. Hmm? Yeah, this is definitely a source block. And now this is also this. Sorry, this one on the aqueduct acts like a source block so if i take it see it like i can use it infinitely which is amazing but uh, for the time being we don't have uh, much use i mean um i yeah we don't have any use for it but you can find some ideas maybe if you, maybe if you need to move the water closer to your base, you can use aqueducts. But yeah, right now I don't have any use for it. Later on though, we can create uh, an infinite uh, water source. Uh, when we get a clay bucket. Using the aqueducts. So yeah, that's uh, a nice thing to know. So oh, plumbing line, fluid bladder, we don't need all that. Then 
There's the clay barrels. Actually, I'm not really sure what they're used for. Maybe storing liquids, but uh, yeah, this is the clay barrel, and then this we made some time ago. And find it clay barrel extension. I'm gonna smell smell them. Just to get the achievements. I don't use them, but if you know a good use for them. Share it with me guys, I'll make sure I'll use them then. Uh, this, when I get them, the fired versions, I will get all three achievements because the dunk pipes we are using here and we should get the achievement as soon as we pick up the, the clay things, yeah. Clay barrel, boom, right. We got them all because the clay barrel extension we made before. Three achievements done. Next. Hunting dimension. We'll use this in the episode today. But to make it, it's very easy. Just some wood and a sword. And there you go. But I'll need... I thought it made eight, but... One, two, three, four. Four more. And also... And you no, know, it consumes the sword. So, spill the sword quick. And yeah, I done goof. One, two, three, four. Wood. Hunting dimension block. Uh, this will allow us to build the portal into the hunting dimension. Mm, let's build it here because no reason i just want to look at it all the time so we'll just build it here quick on camera and we might as well take a trip oh my god guys did i goof this up as well i think i did Hold on a sec. Do I need to get more or do this? Let me check this. Boom boom. Pick with a sword. Definitely need more. Okay. Sorry about that. So let's get uh, one more. Do it real quick. No cuts. Who needs cuts, right? Right, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a sword. Why does it consume a sword? Why you do this to me? Locks. Back in. Should work? I believe it should. Yeah, whoops! I right, I right clicked it and uh, yeah, it lagged for some reason, but uh, there you go, we have the portal. Alright guys, before we before we go into the hunting dimension, um, I want to make some rudimentary snares, uh, which you need to get demonic will. Later on, we'll have a better way of getting them, but now this is our only way. So I'll get a few. Sorry, that was too quick. Uh, you need tin ingots, ring, and some ash. Ash you get by putting some wood into the grill or the kiln, whatever you want, or the furnace. And yeah, you get ash. Let's put the ash here, let's bring it back. And uh, what that is going to do... So now we can use the hunting dimension for a purpose, not just uh, looking it. So, shift click, go into the dimension. Should take a few moments. Up. So, the hunting dimension is always dark. There is no day. Let's mark the portal in case we wander off. 
get lost. Gonna, gonna be cool, right? So, looks like a grave, but it's okay. Portal. All right, guys. So, yeah, you see golems and stuff. Uh, it's uh, starting to get dangerous. Mm. So, so, so. Uh, also, you can uh, change the biome of the of the chunk by using by using creeping moss. Hold on a sec. Let me kill this guy so I can talk without being interrupted. So, 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 guys, creeping moss. I'm not going to use it now, but uh, you need. It's a moss stone which you get from cobblestone and vines and oops zombie villager librarian very nice we don't really need you please stop please stop i want to explain to the guys okay uh creeping moss will come back to it later but you can uh, change the biome of a chunk so the reason we're here is to get some demonic will and to do so you need to craft up the rudimentary snare and uh, equip it and throw it into mobs until they start emitting white particles so let's try it out right click nothing happened again nothing happened again and nothing happened nothing nothing there you go finally that's why you craft up a lot of them and now you need to kill them in time before the particles go away and uh, as you can see we got one demonic wheel which is nice okay let's uh, get some more on camera yeah. a karate zombie it takes a random amount of um, snares oh come on now to get uh, the needed effect so craft a few of them Please, why am I so unlucky? Okay. Later on, demonic will will be much easier to get, but we need. Ooh, no. We need to get. This was nice. This was like the second try. We need to get some black quartz to get it in an easier way. Okay, guy, are you going to use all my snares? That's uh, unfair. You guys? Oh, come on now. This is so unfair. Well, guys, maybe in easy mode it's... Uh... Anyways, we got four wheels. This should be enough. What a beautiful morning. So, demonic wheel. What we need it for is one for the blood altar as it says in the quest capture demonic will to build the blood altar and that's our that's our step one into blood magic i think i have the stuff here yeah i did a pull oh, it's a block of copper that's not the thing right this is the one I got all I need. So for the blood altar, four stone, one furnace, one demonic wheel, and two bronze ingots. Boom. Nice. Then I also wanted to build the Necronomicon, which goes like this. Nine plant twine to get a plant cloth. Then four rotten flesh and four Corallium plugged flesh. And sorry, I don't have it saved. Nomicon. Boom. Done as well. And also I want a sacrificial dagger, which is two bronze ingots and a sharp bone. To get a sharp bone, you you take a bone and you left click it on some stone until it becomes a sharp bone. Sacrificial dagger goes like this. Two bronze ingots and a sharp stone. Sacrificial dagger. This is needed 
to stab yourself and fill up the blood altar with blood. And of course, in the next episodes, I will show you more ways of getting more blood. And the last thing I wanted to make is the Hellfire Forge. I got everything collected. I have two ingots, two tin ingots, one bronze ingot, one block of copper, and four stone. Get the Hellfire Forge. Hellfire Forge will find some use later for and then the blood altar i haven't found no sorry i haven't thought of a location but i think this one looks uh, pretty good for it we'll need some area if we want to upgrade the altar here seems like a nice place so to fill up the blood altar with blood you need the sacrificial dagger you just stand i believe you can also stand next to it but I don't know, I just prefer standing on it. And holding the sacrificial dagger, you just uh, go ham and click the right button on the mouse. And it fills with blood. But be careful, you can kill yourself. So don't sacrifice yourself. Just, uh, just scratch the surface. Alright guys, demonic will, I will store you here. This thing can go here. Oops, we got. Oops. All right, guys, and we're doing some nice progress. We got everything done and up to the Necronomicon. The next thing is to go into Shogger Flare, which uh, you actually find uh, quite often in river banks and oceans but uh, it needs to be beside water i think you don't find them on the surface on land and uh, we got one right here Come on right there so of course guys as you know i'm a smart guy I like to cheese things, I like to make them easy. I like them for I like for things to be hard, but I like to find ways of uh, them being easy. I don't like cheating things, but I like finding clever ways of uh, making hard things easy. So this is what a, a shoga flare looks like and what I've done and I also recommend uh, for you to do is I got some sturdy stone which is some cobblestone and some stone so four stone and four cobble four cobble and four stone make four sturdy stone and why you need this because the monsters the shogoths that are inside the layer break all blocks that have uh, uh, oof, that have um, I don't know how it's called in the game, but the level of sturdiness is uh, less than three. So cobblestone, dirt won't do. Any wo wood won't do nothing. But this sturdy stone, so I have some here. I made three stacks. Um, we, as you could see in our storage, we had a lot of stone. But how I want to cheese it? is um and it might uh, not go well guys we'll see but i want to use the sturdy so stone which they cannot break to create a small farming area inside their layer and also it needs to be too wide because one wide they'll hit you through the wall so you'll need to build uh, two wide walls. All right, guys, let's uh, just uh, jump into it. <laughs> oh my God, it does, it's already not working. Oh my God, yep, already done goof. And these guys, you don't want them to exit the layer because they lay a black, they, they hurt, they hurt and uh 
they lay down a black goo that uh, could cost you your grave. Ooh! Sorry guys, I need to eat. See? I almost died. Uh, I almost died because I wasn't careful enough. But these blocks, see, they cannot break them. Also the monolith stone, the thing their layer is made from, uh, they cannot break it. But these guys hurt, you saw that, right? Another hit and I would be dead. Uh, this guy is also speed acid, the thing that I was talking about, the, the black goo that they leave on uh, dirt and any, anywhere they go. Uh, so you don't want to die on it because your grave will be gone. Um, another recommendation is to fight them in water because they don't lay down the goo. But this is my way of fighting them, so I'm just going to close this up. Close it where I can. Oops. Actually, this is okay. Make it double layered. I want to dig some more leaf stone. My bronze pickaxe is better. Actually not. A uh, monolith stone you will need. Yeah. I don't remember how much we need, but uh, I'm not I'm not counting. I'm just making myself a small killing chamber, let's say, for the shogaps. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, guys. I got scared. <laughs> so, so. By the way, the bear claw is a good tool, is a very good tool, but it doesn't break marble for some and slate. Actually, it does break, but uh, but not so fast. I don't know. Anyways, also, I think this one is one. Better be careful. But this is a nice way to cheese it, guys. To cheese it. Let's see if this layer has... It would be nice. We need some statues. These guys. These guys take, uh, like... We, we can build the statue. It's easy to build. See some clay, some black dye powder, or some other kind of color, and just one monolith stone. But you can also get uh, the statues inside for free. See, I think this is quite dangerous. Okay, let's continue building our safety wall. And they they go through here. Doesn't matter. I like safety. I like being safe. Let's continue going just like that. Just like us so. Where are they? Are they? Hello? Yeah, come here, come to Papa. Come on, maybe, maybe that's not the best way. Also, they do climb walls just like spiders. So yeah, these guys are, you don't want to mess with them, especially if there's, ooh, if there's a few of them, you don't want to mess with them. Can I make slabs? Wood. I do also crafting make abs. No, I can't. Okay, well, let's sleep so nobody attacks us from the back. All right, let's get back to business. Hello. 
people like this? Definitely can, but should we? That, that was the correct question to ask. Maybe we should. Maybe that's a nice idea. Look, look how many there are. Come on. Easy to the max, guys. It's always nice to be smart and, uh, yeah, find smart ways of doing things. Hard things in a smart way. Come on. See, because these guys hurt. These guys don't mess around. Ooh. Hold on a second. I don't remember how much stuff we need. Let's actually check. Don't we have them? Come on. Come on. You guys are all there. Need a few more. Guys, believe me, that that is the well. I'm not sure if the way I'm doing it right now is the best way, but uh, choosing it is uh, definitely an option and definitely. Woo! Yeah, got thirteen. You know, uh, it's definitely better than. Uh, Running around like a madman, trying to get away from them. Actually, you know what? I wanna go from upstairs, make it so that they, come, they climb less. We can do that, that would be nice. Eat. Like a ooh, fish, and like a oh, maybe that is the best option. Like they keep climbing upstairs, and maybe just hitting them from upstairs is the best option. Yeah, that seems like a nice option. That seems like a very nice. Yeah, you just die. Yeah, exactly. You came to die here. That works like a charm. Take a lot of time, guys. Let's kill a few more. They seem not to be able to hit you, so... Yeah, guys, I guess this is the best way to farm them. I mean, you can definitely think of something more smart than I did, but this is just... Nothing I thought in a few seconds. Definitely can be improved. But I'm happy with this one because I don't have to run awa around, run away, die. Come on. Go downstairs. He calls that. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. No. No. <laughs> Oh no, guys, no. How, how did this happen? How did this happen? Right, I know how it happened. Guys, this is going to be fun. Not sure if we can ever get away from them. Only if we act very fast. So how it happened is I got too cocky. And uh, yeah, the auto... Auto run function or not the auto jump? This thing. Um, step up the step up ability. Yeah, step up ability made me go inside. Then I panicked. Then I died. Cool stuff, eh? Oh, oh no. Yeah, I thought 
For a second, I thought they like laid down the the thing I was talking about, the the acid, and I thought my grave is gone, but it's it's right there. Okay, guys. Ooh, I can <laughs> I cannot exit. All right, guys. I'm going to die again. I'm going to get some sturdy stone and try to build myself into my grave. So I'll see you soon. Actually, guys, I don't want to do any cats this episode. I want it to be a chill episode and I want you guys to be with me with the whole time. So I'm back at the base, just died. Um, I smashed some bronze uh, ingots. To make a sword. Oops. Make a sword. I'm going to get some food, but not too much. Maybe like a quarter of a stack. Let's get. Do I need that much? Anyways, four stacks of. No, I don't. I don't want some. I'll, I'll take two stacks of stone. Where is it? Two stacks of cobble. Make it into sturdy stone. And let's get on it, guys. Let's see if we can do it. No armor. Maybe that's a bad idea, but... Uh, I think if we... If we do it in a smart way, we won't have any trouble. Yeah, guys. Uh, how's your day, guys? Like, I understand that uh, for the time being, you have no reason to comment. But uh, I would like to hear from some of you, like, a comment. Like, uh, yeah, my my day was okay. You know, chat a bit, create a comment. Wait, what? All right, this is my last grave. Uh, I don't want it actually. Anyways, I'm not sure how to remove it. So, how do we do this, guys? I think we go like a so. Like a so. Okay, guys. I will need the pickaxe. <laughs> I don't want to die again. I'm going to smash this rock. Smash a few dirt. Get out of here. Get a bronze pickaxe. And I'll be back. All right, guys, we are back with the axe. I think it, this should be relevantly easy. What do you guys think? Oh, this is dark. This is dark. But we're here, guys. Like, I think we got it. Just, just don't, don't come, please. Please, please, please. Please don't. I'm so scared. They can climb walls. They can climb walls. No, 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 just not. Um, can I break this? I can't. Um, just die, guy. One shoot. Can I pick this up if I jump? Oh, I can. Let's get some dirt. Get some dirt. I'm sure you can't see much. Ooh, that's the ooze, guys. This is this is the thing. This is the what you call it. Thing the monolith. Take those. No statue. Sometimes there is a statue. All right. I want the important stuff, so. No, I just want to stay down. I just have like a show. Pick up my grave. Where's my grave? Boom! Very nice. We got our stuff book. And all the seeds we don't need. Pick up our, our pickaxe. How much do I have? Guys, I have so much. Very nice. So... 
that? I don't know. But I think we can continue cheesing it. Have our boots? Yes, we do. Okay. Revenge time, guys. Revenge time. So let's delete all this stuff. The grave stuff. Eat more. Come on. Okay, guys, so we died one time. Let's not die again. Fix this thing up. Oops. 44. Very nice. 47, guys. I don't think we'll need more than that. Let's get a few more monolith stone. How much is that? 48? 53? Master 2. Dude! Math skills are on top. 59. 60. 61. 62. 63. 64. Guys, I think this. Should be enough for oops for our current needs. Let's get back home. Use our super boots. Super boots, super speed. I love it, guys. I love it. So quick underwater. Oh, we died, but that's okay, right guys? Let's sleep real quick. Wait, we died twice? Yes, we did. I guess we did. I guess we did indeed. Okay, let's save this guy for backup. This, yeah, this guy for All right, uh, that was uh, fun. <laughs> that was fun. Robot me. Now that's what it was. Right. So the next thing we need to do find the sugar flare in the swamp and river biomes. After six or more spawn, they will eventually erect a monolith with a statue on top. Or craft a statue using the sugar flesh. Right, it's what I said. Sometimes these guys can spawn a statue, but since they didn't, we're just gonna make it ourselves. Statue. Let's make what do we We'll make three different ones. Ah, that's why I smelted. No, I grinded some of those. Blue dye. Purple one. Purple? Make a yellow one. Yellow one. We'll need three clay. Definitely have some clay. Oh, I have some on me. Let's make the purple one. Boom. The blue. Not the blue. It and a yellow one. Very nice. Now, do we have to place them? Right. And we also need... Uh, these are just decorative, but if you surround them with flesh, you get the, the real stuff, the good stuff, guys. So, make them all the ones we need. What else can we make from statues? Show you. Oh, and this one. Different. Yes, this is. Anyways, I don't know what that is, guys. So, what do we do next? We also got this. We got this because of the parrots that we tamed. But uh, basically, if you cannot find any parrots. Because this achievement, the boss, the Baycock boss, isn't an achievement you need to do. It's optional. And if you're having trouble finding parrots, you can use um, you can you can use one of the ceremonies to 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 the ritual obtain some parrots. Anyways, if you read through the Necronomicon, you will find it. I don't want to look up. I don't want to look for it yet. 
what I want to do is I want to build a pedestal. Let me do a pedestal. Pedestal. Oh no, we can, guys. We'll need to find some corallium. The corallium can be find found in underground, in ocean and swamp biomes. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have um. I don't have um. I haven't found a biome like this yet, so because it might take quite some time, I don't think you guys want to watch me look for it, but what I will make is a layer for the, for the charging station, let's say, of the Necronomicon. We will need the pedestal, but we can at least start it. So, you want to cage this thing. You want to cage it in some um, sturdy stone or some other material that is sturdy enough. Uh, I haven't found any material that is uh, sturdy enough other than the sturdy stone, but you can look up the materials. And sturdy stone, the monolith also is actually sturdy enough. So what I wanted to, to do is uh, something very easy. Like this, so build a small. Oh no, our thing is broken. That's okay. We only have one claw left. I haven't seen any more bears. What is going on? No? Time stone, we need you. Enough. Ooh. Boom. I will have the thingy here. Pedestal. It says three blocks away. Yeah. Make sure the statues are three blocks from the pedestal and at the same height. The pedestal will be here. Hook will be here. So these guys will place three blocks this way. One guy. Three. Guy number two. Three. Guy. Three. And then I want to surround it with the stair thing. I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, I dug out the space. Facing down the dirty rock. In this age you can build the stone wand. Which is an amazing tool if you want to get stuff done quicker. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. Oops. It dupes. One is not done. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. As always, Serge miscalculates everything. Where is it? Real quick. On car. Let's go. Bada bim bada boom. Bada bim bada boom. The ceiling. I don't think you really need that draw, but if anything happens, they can go into the mountain. I don't care. Just go. 
Anyways. Oh, we have enough. I think we do, but... No, we don't. Oops. Pick it up. I had the creeper spawn here. Or Should be noise, very noise. Oh. Ah, can be enough. Yeah. Anyways, guys. I'll fix it off camera, but um, yeah, I don't think uh, if I don't do any cuts, the episode will be too long. So this is where we're going to leave it, guys. We did some achievements. We're moving along quite nicely and smoothly. So yeah, guys. I'm falling asleep, sorry guys, I'm sorry. So, 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 so. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, I, I'm wishing you a good morning, good day, a good night. Wishing to see you all tomorrow. Where we're going to make some progression. And hopefully get into the beneath. So, hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.